Hey there, the media mod I have. Let's turn it on. It's a little crooked. Alright. Look at this. The media mod is working great. You do have the um, VU meter on here to see how loud you are talking when you record your audio. You know, the power boost thing is working and then if you record, it's going to record whatever you want to record. Oh, now look at that. It uh, interrupted the recording. Has trouble writing to the SD card? Hmm. Let's try this again. Yeah. Record what I'm saying here, okay? Do you see this? It's there. You see the seconds counting up there? That's a very good sign. And down there we have the VU meter. So it is recording what's ever happening in front of the camera. What do we want more? Okay, let's stop this for a second. Let's go into the settings. And let's see what we have to offer. In our settings we do have preferences. And we also do have here the About button that shows us the camera info, okay? Camera info, we have a version of 1.20 and people are working with this and do not have any issues whatsoever with this mod, okay? We can even put a battery, an external battery on here, like this. And now we record, or we charge the camera here while it's on. And we can also record like this. While we record, it stops charging. Okay, it does, but the micro mod works fine. We can add a microphone, an external microphone if we wanted to. There's a hole down here. I don't know, what was this? This is HDMI, if you want to put an external monitor on there. That's how it goes. Everything is beautiful. And now let's say we want to update this camera to the latest software. Uh, I am not sure if I can do this easy. Um, I would use my phone for that. So what do we have here? GoPro. It says it found the camera. Yeah, control your GoPro. So those two can talk to each other. The connecting. Connecting, it's still active. I want to join this network so that you can talk to each other better. Oh, did we turn off? No, we are ready to go, right? We have 64% battery. This should be way enough to do an update. Camera update available um, with improvements, bug fixes and whatnot. Yeah, why would we not update? Yeah, update this thing. All those things we agree to because, I mean, that's the best. Let's go. Okay, and then here we are downloading the software. And then we update the camera, okay? So down here we have to push the continue button. Continue, leave everything on, it will power on and off, it's going to transfer. It's transferring from my phone to the thing. I just hope my phone has enough power. You see the phone has very little power left. Man, I think I need to charge my phone. Stick with me here, just in case the phone loses power, then you see what happens then. Will that wreck my update? Because it says don't go anywhere, right? Do not exit the app or turn it off during this process, and my phone battery is going low. Over there, you see that? Man. Oh, See, there is going an update going, don't leave the app. When the update is complete, your camera screen will return to normal. Wow. Love it. Everything is beautiful always. I like this little animation here. It's a quick thing. So, when you watch me here, you can see how this will look like 
when you update your GoPro camera. Just stick with it. Well, there you see my battery has gone low, but the wireless signal is there. And it says we are installing the update. Stay online. Yes. You see the light is still blinking. That's a good sign, isn't it? Well, I put my phone to the side. Whoa! I put my phone to the side for a second. Let's turn this thing around. See what's happening. See? There's an update happening on the front of this. See there? That display is updating. Look at that. Look at that. It's so neat. Hmm? That's the media mod here. How do you like that media mode? There, it's resetting. It's resetting. Look at that, look at that, look at that. There we are, and everything is beautiful. Working. No problem whatsoever. And here, it just takes a minute It just takes a minute. Yeah. It takes a minute to realize what happened. It takes a minute to really see, okay, what happened here? In this short moment. The camera is going sleepy again. Come on, turn the screen. What did I do to the camera? Did you see that? I touched the screen and now all the buttons disappeared. <laughs> there they're back. Wow. That's normal. There! It wants to join my Wi-Fi. Okay. Go ahead and join it. I love how it shows the check mark already. But on the other hand, uh, there it goes. Now it does the big check mark and it says all set and you can push the done button and now your camera is ready to connect and to be controlled control your GoPro it's starting this preview here on the screen now I see on the phone the same what you see there and I can run this preview not available but the camera is recording and if I stop it stops recording. There we go. So now I can take my quick app away. Let's move over here a little bit. Sorry for it being a little bit crooked. Now I can go in here and there to my preferences and go to about there. About camera info. Bada boom. And now we see I'm at 1.30 down here, the new version, and my media mod is still working, as you can see. There is no problem whatsoever. Some people had issues there online, and no, this is working fantastic. No big deal. You have my settings here. 5K 60L plus, oh no, I want 5K 60L plus, horizon level plus, record, and there it goes, it records, the microphone is here, let's see if I can still charge while I'm recording, there we go, it doesn't charge while you record, but let's hope that the battery doesn't drain any more than it already does. If I stop recording, I will probably start charging. Yes, I do. Everything works beautiful. And I hope it does the same for you guys. If you have any problems with the media mod after the update, just comment in the comments below. And then I'm going to help you out with this. Or I could help you right now. Do you want help before it even breaks? I can show you what to do. Now, let's say your micro media mod, your micro mod here 
is acting weird after you do an update or acting weird at any time with your camera, the easiest and best thing to do is to swipe down, go over here, go to Preferences, go to Reset here on the bottom, there, Reset, and then down there you can scroll up all the way, and there it says Factory Reset. Click on that and it will tell you it will reset everything. Yeah, good then. Go and reset everything. Now the whole camera is resetting. While it does that, you go in your phone, in your quick app, in there, and there is your camera in here right now. It's still there. Click those little three dots in the corner here, there, and say remove camera. Yeah, it says remove camera. Push that button. And then say yes, remove it. Boom, gone. Okay. So now your there is my other camera here. So the new camera here is not in here anymore. You go to English or wherever you come from. Say this on and on. And now we want to install the quick app. Okay, we are in the quick app. We add the camera plus. Then your quick app says we found it pair and it wants to pair the yo let's pair it. Now it finds the media mod, that's perfect, right? Camera is paired, what more do we want? I leave it with a GoPro name, I love those names. And now it's ready to go. And everything will be beautiful again. I don't want to subscribe. I'm good. And as I said before, everything is going to be beautiful once this happened. And I wish you luck with your setup and enjoy your media mod. It's like one of the coolest things ever for the GoPro. Don't forget, it's not dive proof. You can just sprinkle some water over it, but it's not waterproof. Don't forget this with a uh, media mod. There it is, see? And you can record and everything works fine. Okay? So, I hope this helped you. And subscribe to my channel if you will.